This is a tutorial on how to update the availability for your venue. As you can see here, you can change the availability of your venue for every day of the week. To start with, make sure that the checkbox says the venue is open on the days that it is open. This allows you to set the time availability for that day. Underneath the open checkbox is the shift checkbox. Tick this box if you wish your venue to be available for shifts. For example, if your venue is available from 9 till 5 and then has a break and then is available from 6 till 10. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to choose a shift for the availability. If you click copy these rates to all days, this will automatically fill out every other day of the week with the availability rates you have just set. If the availability of your venue varies each day, then you can set them up manually. Once you have set up the availability, scroll down and you'll see a large line of text that says set availability on. In this section you can choose whether people can hire your venue on a daily, an hourly basis, a daily basis or an hourly basis. Tick the box that best suits you and your venue and once you have done that, please fill out the minimum hire period. With block out dates, you can set the dates when your venue isn't available, such as public holidays. If your venue has a date that is not available for hire, click the add dates button and add your block out date. Short term open dates is used when your venue is only available for certain periods, such as an expo or a market on the first Saturday of the month. This is filled out the same way as the block out dates. If it's a singular date, set both tabs as the same day. If your short term open dates are multiple days in a row, then set the first date as the start of the period and the second date as when the period ends. Now you have your availability set up, you can click the orange update venue button at the bottom of the page. This will save all of the settings and update your venue listing. For help filling out the other venue tabs at the top of the page, see our other tutorials.